More than 10% of the people in Rutherford County have diabetes. That sounds high, but it's below Tennessee's statewide rate of 13%. Carolyn Young has dealt with type 2 diabetes almost 20 years. She attended this recent diabetic wellness fair where Carolyn says she picked up helpful information. They um, showed me how to look at my, my numbers, like the glucose. Mm -hmm. They were showing me how much sugar I had in, in, with my glucose, and it was really high, and they told me what to do to get that down. UT and TSU Extension hold health fairs statewide, including this one in Murfreesboro. Extension also features a class called Take Charge of Your Diabetes. Diabetes is where someone's blood sugar, which should be around 100, is too high. Um, some of the main things that people talk about is when they are first diagnosed with diabetes, they're often scared. Agent Misty Lane Watkins teaches that class and also partnered with several area health organizations for this event, where people could learn about nutrition, diabetes management, and the mental health side of the disease. But we tell them how to take their medications properly, how to communicate with their doctor, how to communicate with their fam family. If they are stressed, ways that they can manage their stress to prevent depression. We talk to them about physical activity. When we talk about diabetes, that covers several things. I have type 1 or insulin dependent, and I have this insulin pump on me at all times. Type 2 is more common and is usually controlled through diet, exercise, and oral medications. UT Extension received a grant to produce this commercial for cable TV in the McMinn County area that targets those with prediabetes. Anyone with these warning signs could develop type 2. Yeah, a lot of people in McMinn County um, are at risk for diabetes and don't know it. And that's what we want to target to make sure that people know the risk factors, know that that might be them and what to do about it because type 2 diabetes can be prevented. There is no cure for diabetes, but there's reasonable hope one could be coming soon. Meantime, all diabetics and Tennessee's general population should take good care of their health because the alternative could be life-threatening. This is Charles Denny reporting.